Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is run an, a, another uh, microsphere experiment uh, because uh, the lecithin that I use to make the microspheres <coughs> contains uh, phosphatidylcholine, and uh, because it has choline in it, I wanted to see if we could mix some urea with that, and uh, maybe that'll form a, an electrolyte. Um, in the in the cell, uh, you could take uh, choline chloride, for instance, and uh, urea, and mix them together, and it, for it makes a deep eutetic solvent, and which makes a great electrolyte. So, I thought I'd just uh, we'll just run a little experiment to see uh, what the effects uh, with urea is. So, I've got another uh, uh, little batch of microspheres I've made here with some lecithin and water, and. Uh, graphite and uh, urea mix so that's uh, and this is our titanium dioxide and lime mixture for the negative electrode so we'll paint a drop of that on here maybe two drops And then we'll uh, put our separator paper on. Like that. And this is graph oil, and we'll put a couple of drops of our microspheres on here. and see what our volts are. Okay. We're at yeah. jumping around the it goes. Jumping around quite a bit. The cell's trying to equalize its chemistry. Not settling down. Looks like. Ninety six and we're dropping a little bit, so our alkaline is overpowering the acid. Of course there's no acid in it. And then let's just see what our amps are. A little less than two, it looks like. Not great, but there's no acid in it. So now let's uh, throw a little acid. We'll use our acetic acid in the borax that we used for the last cell. Put in here. And I think I'll just open it up this way. Yeah. Same as I did before. Now it's coming off. There's four drops of citric acid. I think I said acetic acid last time. Alright. Now check and see where the volts are. There we go, there's better. Of course we expected that because we've got some acid electrolyte in there now. Now we're at uh, 108, 2 and 3 and it's uh, holding and holding nice. Let's see what our amps are now. <coughs> That's really bad. Oh, now there it goes. It jumped up. 
but not great. So that is definitely a, not a good uh, thing to do. We had 25 milliamps with the, the first uh, spheres. So uh, anyway, I just thought I'd try that out and let you see it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm back. Since the uh, first part of this video was uh, was short and, uh, and a failure, really, I thought I'd try another experiment real quick with the same materials, except uh, this time I added a little bit of uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizer in this, just for the hell of it, because I'm curious about oxidizing carbon on in the battery. So we're going to paint another little bit of this on the, on our graph oil and then put that on the cell and now woo I felt a temperature change right there so I'm expecting something this time now let's see what our okay Got a little less volts, but boy, we got there quick. All right, it was 98.3 in holding. Now let's see what our amps are. Hmm, it wants to jump all over the place. Wow, oh, look at this, it's climbing. Oh, that's real interesting, isn't it? We've enhanced our, uh, I think they're negative electrode somehow. I don't know. But look at this. We're holding, holding uh, two, I mean, nearly, I mean, I mean, that's holding and actually climbing 2.1 milliamps and it's just sitting right there. So that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Just by adding a little more oxygen. I noticed when I was using the uh, copper oxide in there too that that uh, so the, the cells re oxygen is important I can tell that but let's go back now let's check our recharge on there bam well, it's recharging nice back to 90 instantly and it's climbing right up so didn't appear to hurt the self-charge any. We'll let her climb back up here and then uh, discharge it one more time. I mean, that was a long dead short the last time, and it just held right there at 2 amps, 2 milliamps for a long time. Let's pop it again here. Here we go climbing again, jumping around like it did last time. And now it, then it climbs up. Oops, I'm off the thing here. So this time we're holding it one milliamp, but it's holding steady as a rock pretty much. to show you. You never know what to see when you're experimenting with something that you don't it's hard to under hard to, that you don't know anything about yet. Okay. We'll have to run some experiments with some uh, hydrogen peroxide in the cell. Let me think about that one and I'll be back with you sometime. I don't know when about that. Thanks for watching.